Our first problem that we're going to take a look at is Kyle has 45 pieces of candy. And he is so nice that he's willing to share or give 20 of them to his friends. So Kyle has 45 pieces of candy and he gives 20 pieces to his friends. Can we first use these to model or show me what it would look like to be 45? So if we can let these be our pieces of candy, could you show me what 45 pieces of candy could look like? It would look like... Go ahead and grab them. Four of these and five ones. Okay, so you can go ahead and take one. So you need five ones. You want to go ahead and break one of those if you would like. Don't get a sliver. I think they call that busting a tent. Do they? Yeah. Call that? <laughs> Sorry. Good. Okay, so tell me how many you have here. 40, and then I have one here, so it would make it 45. Ah, perfect. So how many tens do you have? Four. Four tens, and how many ones? Five. And what number was that? 45. That's Bethany. Perfect. Now, let's get back to the problem. We talked about Kyle. He's really nice. And he had 45 pieces of candy, and he gives 20 pieces of candy to his friends. Can you show me what you might do to solve that problem? Oh, you're going to throw them. Okay. So talk to me about what you did and what you think, how many pieces you think Kyle might have brought. He is going to have 25 left. Okay, and how do you know that? Because I just took two of these away. Two of those away. So the problem that you're thinking about, it sounds like, is you are doing 45, subtract 20, and you took away from the 45, two of those bundles, which, how many are in each of these bundles? 10. So you took two bundles away, or two tens away, and you had how many left? So 45 subtract 20 is 25. Yeah. Right. Where's the 25? Could you show me on your sticks? Yeah. Uh -huh. And where's what we took away? Right there. Right there. And what if I put those back together, how many would I have? 45. Nice job, Bethany. Okay, we're going to stick to the same candy and Kyle being really nice and giving some to his friends, but I'm going to change the numbers. Sound cool? Mm -hmm. So we'll keep maybe our ones here. We know that you have ten ones here if you need them. And our tens back up there. So the next one we're going to look at is... Let's go with this one. So we're going to say that Kyle has 52 pieces of candy, and he gives 10 pieces to his friend. Could you show me how you would model that on the manipulatives for me? How many do you have? 52. How do you know there are 52 there? Because there's five bundles of um, 10 and it's, <clears throat> there's five bundles of 10 and then there's two sticks. Ah, so we have five tens and two ones. Five tens and two ones, which gives us 52 total. Mm -hmm. And now Kyle says, I'm going to let my friends have 10 of those pieces. How many pieces does Kyle have now? 42. And how'd you come up with 42? Because take away 10 equals 42. Could you say that for me one more time? 
if you take away um, one or ten of one of these, then it would make it um, 42. Okay, so where do you see 42? Right here. And then where's the 10 that we took away? Right here. Perfect. What if I put this one back here? How many would you have all together? 52. Ah, nice little trick, wasn't it? You didn't fall for my trick. Perfect. Let's go ahead and try another. So I'm going to put this up. Not that you need anything in here, but I want to hide some things for this next one, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to give another problem, and we'll say that this time we have 40 eight pieces of candy. Could you go ahead and build 48 for me with, with these? How many do you have there? Eight. Eight ones. How many tens? Four. Four tens and eight ones gives us 48 pieces of candy total. Perfect. I these. I know. 48 you gave me. 48. And we are going to give 30 to his friends. Think about it, and when you're ready, give me a thumbs up. How many would Kyle have left? One ten. One ten? Okay, could you tell me about what you were thinking about? What was going on up here? So, I had four and then I took away three and then there was one left. Okay, let's take a look at what we have. So, show me what you did with so, the manipulatives again. So we had 48 first. You counted those, right? And you had 48. And then Kyle said, I'm a real nice guy. I'm going to give 30 to my friends. So, he gave 30 away. it's different. I see you thinking about something that was different than what you had in your head last time. Well, ten plus um, eight equals eighteen. Ah, so you, what I notice is that you, when you were talking last time you said four tens subtract three tens gave you one ten. Correct? What did we leave off? We knew there was one ten here. What are these things? One. Ah, so we had one ten and eight ones. So there were how many total? 48 subtract 30 was? 18. All right, let's try another one like that. Sound good? So I'm going to bring out my handy dandy trick here again. Okay? I'm going to put my tens back in my pile, and here we have some ones if you need them. And our next problem that we are going to think about, let's go with, i got a good one for you. Let's go with Kyle starts with 34 pieces of candy. Could you show me Kyle's 34 pieces of candy? So Kyle starts with 34 pieces of candy. Could you count those for me and make sure we have 34? So now we have 34 pieces of candy. Okay, and let's say Kyle's really nice again and gives of his 34 pieces, Kyle gives 20 to his friends. 
34 pieces gives 20 to his friends. Take a minute, just think about it, and then give me a thumbs up when you're ready. 14. Talk to us, Bethany, about how you came up with 14. Wow. <clears throat> I took away um, two from the three, and it was one, and I knew that if I had one, ten left, and I had four, it would equal 14. So you said, Bethany, you had one, ten left. And then you said something about a four. You had four what? Um, ones left. Four ones. And ten plus four equals fourteen. And ten plus four equals fourteen. So what I'm hearing you say is you had thirty-four subtract twenty is fourteen. And you said, well, I know there are three tens in thirty and two tens in twenty which would leave 110. And you said, I also know that there were four ones left. Adding the 10 and the four, you get 14. Let's see if that makes sense here. So we're just gonna kind of check our work and make sure with the materials. So we had 34 pieces total. Did you count those right the first time? Yeah. Okay, good. Kyle gave 20 of them to his friends. How many does he have left? Knuckles, good job, Bethany. Let's try another one, okay? We're gonna go with Kyle has 57 pieces of candy. Can you show me 57? Could you show me 57? Do you have? Can you sh prove to Miss Thomas that you have 57? Um, there's five and then seven and it's 57. Perfect. I'm going to do my trick again and I'm going to hide these. 57. This time Kyle is super nice to his friends. And he gives them 57. Talk to us. So, fifty-seven um, minus fifty equals um, seven. And how do you know that, Bethany? Because if you give fifty away and there's five times, then there's only seven left. Seven what left? Ones. Seven ones. So, what I think I hear you saying, could you just show us what you were saying with these? So. I said give away 50, so I did that, and then there's seven left. Ah, so in 57, there were how many tens? 50. So in 57, there are how many tens and how many ones? There's five tens and seven left. Okay, and we take away five tens, what do we have left? Seven. Seven. Ones. Nice job. Okay. Let's try another. He now has 78 pieces of candy. And Kyle is nice and gives his friends 30. Take time to think about it and give us a thumbs up when you're ready. Okay, talk to us. <coughs> Seventy minus um, thirty equals forty-seven. So what I hear you saying, Bethany, is seventy minus thirty. It is what was that? Forty-seven. Okay, can you show me on the the so materials I what we might be doing here? Seven. Seventy, and then I took away three, and then it's 
30 and then I had 7 of these. Okay, so I heard you say that you had 70 and then you took away 30 and I have 40. And then can you talk to us about where you're getting these sevens from? Where do we see seven? Um, what makes you want to pull these into the conversation? Um, well, it's okay, take your time. Would you like to start back at the beginning and let's kind of rethink the way we're going to approach it? Okay, let's do that. So let's go back then before we pulled any of these in and let's talk about it. So I'm hearing Kyle had 78 pieces of candy and he gave his friends 30 and I heard you say 78 subtract 30. That's kind of where we were. Now how could, and feel free to grab these if you'd like to use them this time. How could we solve this problem? Or tell me what you know about that problem. 78 minus 30 equals 40 and 8 and... Because F70 minus 30... F70 minus 30 and you take away 3 and... Equals 47. 48. I mean. So again, you're saying 70, 78 subtract 30 equals 48. Could you show me 78 with the manipulatives? So you have seven tens and eight ones. Now I'm going to subtract the 30. Okay. How many do we have left? 48. So 78 subtract 30 is 48. Let's look at what we have with our tens. Without the ones first, I'm going to keep our eight ones right here. See them? I'm going to keep them right here. We had 70 here, and you subtracted 30. What would it look like if I took 30 away from my 70? How many do we have? What else do we have other than this 40? Ah, so we have 40 and our eight ones, which gave us our 48. Let's try another. I think we have time for one more. So Miss Thomas has 88 pieces of candy, and she is so nice. She's going to give her friends... 20. Miss Thomas has 88 pieces of candy and she is going to give her friends 20. Talk to us, take some time to think and then give me a thumbs up. Um, 68. Talk to us about 68. Because 68. Could you say that again for me? 88, eight, um, 80 minus 20 equals 68. So 88 subtract 20 equals 68. Could you talk to me about tens and ones? How many tens and ones 
are we dealing with in this problem? And eight ones. Okay. And then we're subtracting 20. What happens to these things when we subtract 20? Um, when we subtract 20, it equals 68. Okay, it does equal 68. What do I do to these? So I had eight tens and eight ones. If I want to subtract 20, what am I doing to the tens and ones? If you if you could picture in your brain these, what would you do? Take away twenty. Okay, and what do those look like? So I would take away twenty from it. Twenty, perfect. So you would take away two of these. What are these? Tens. Uh, so you would take away two tens, which would give us six tens, and eight ones, which was the 68 that you had.